Would you believe that God wants you to be successful every time you share any portion of the gospel? That seems to ring true to our ears, doesn't it? But for many, when we've attempted to share the gospel with someone, we certainly don't feel successful. In fact, most people I talk to feel like they have failed at sharing the gospel. So in this video, I want to give you a different definition of success to be biblically accurate when it comes to evangelism. And I want to share with you just how committed God is to your success in sharing the story of Jesus with not yet believers. Historically, followers of Jesus have understood success in evangelism to be getting people to pray the sinner's prayer or to go forward at a church service so they can become a Christian. But is this understanding of success biblically accurate? In 1 Corinthians 3, 6 through 8, we are taught that some plant the seeds of the gospel, others nurture it along through watering, but it is God who causes the increase. In other words, the response of people's hearts to the message of Christ is the responsibility of God, not to a person presenting the gospel. And that takes the pressure off, but it gets even better. Success is actually conversations with people, not converting them to something. Whenever we choose to follow the nudging of the Spirit to speak the words He gives us, we are 100% successful because we are sharing exactly what He desires the person to hear at the moment. Again, the pressure is taken off from us to perform. God is so committed to your success in evangelism that He actually gives you the precise words at the exact time to accomplish His perfect purpose. Sound intriguing? Let's see what the scriptures teach on this topic. The next few scriptures come from Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and they are the same accounts from different perspectives of the author. In Matthew 10, 18 through 20, we read these words. On my account, you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. But when they arrest you, do not worry about what to say or how to say it. At that time, you will be given what to say, for it is not you speaking, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Jesus wants us to know that whenever we are given opportunities to be a witness for him, that we are not to worry about what to say or how to say it. At the right time, we will be given what to say. Jesus says that it will not be you speaking, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. So how can you go wrong if the father is giving you the precise words for the hearer to hear at the right moment? Mark 13, 11 says, do not worry beforehand about what to say. But just say whatever is given to you at that time, for it is not you speaking, but the Holy Spirit. In this account, we learn that when we have opportunity to be a witness, that we're not to worry beforehand about what to say. We don't have to come up with the script before we have the conversation. We are to say whatever is given to us at the moment, for it is not you speaking, but the Holy Spirit. And Jesus wants us to know that it's not your wisdom speaking, but the supernatural wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Luke 21, 13 through 15 says, This will result in your being a witness to them. But make up your mind not to worry beforehand how you will defend yourselves. For I will give you words and wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. When we are given opportunity to be a witness for Jesus, we are to make up our minds beforehand not to worry how to defend ourselves. Why? because Jesus will give you the words and wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. The Trinity is committed to your success in evangelism. The Father, Spirit, and Jesus are committed to giving you the exact words to speak to the person you are engaging with the good news. That takes off the pressure and gives all the glory to God. Success in evangelism is simply repeating the words God gives you to say in the moment. I pray that these scriptures encourage you to engage more people with the gospel, knowing that the Trinity will give you exactly what to say to be 100% successful 100% of the time.